At a weekly Jubilee House press briefing, Director of Communications at the President's Eugenia says the government under Nana Kufado has shown enough commitment to the fight against corruption than any other government under the Fourth Republic. Mr. Ain stated that anti-graph agencies have been resourced enough to help the fight against corruption. The CDD in a survey reviewed that Ghanaians do not trust the president to protect the public pairs. But Mr. Ain says Nana Kufado has showed enough commitment to the corruption fight. We also believe that in the fight against corruption, no president has done more than Nanado Danko Kufuado in the fight against corruption. No other president. And there are facts to back it up. I mean, take a look at the um, accountability institutions of state, for example. You look at parliament, look at the judiciary, look at Shraj, look at the Auditor General, you look at the Attorney General's office. If you look at the funding that was sent to these five accountability institutions of state, um, the 2017 figures, for example, you, you see, I mean, these are, these are not my own making. You can look through um, the budget, do the calculation for yourself and see if I'm being truthful or not. Mr. Ayn also announced that the president had refunded an amount of 237,000 Ghana cities to the state in relation to salary increment for the year 2021. The president in May this year announced that no member of the executive would enjoy salary increase following the devastating effect of COVID-19 on the economy. For some reason, when the president received his accrued salary from January to August this year, I mean, it was noticed that the directive he gave had not been enforced. Let me use that word. So leading by example, on Thursday, the 2nd of September, um, he wrote a check amounting to 237,974 CDs to the pensions and salaries accounts of the Controller and Accountant General's Department um, to reflect the decision he has taken to free salary increments for himself. On the controversial issue that the President uses private jets for his foreign trips instead of the presidential jets, this is what Mr. Ayn had to say. I travel with the President on every single trip. And on the trip, in the trip to the United Kingdom first for the Global Education Summit and then subsequently to Germany, the president did not use this trip. I don't know where he got his information from. This LXDIU was not the flight used by the president. I would know because I, always, I travel with the president everywhere he goes. If he did, I would know. So this information he put out there, at least to be charitable to my senior, was not correct. Mr. Ahin also announced that President Kufado will chair a virtual emergency accords meeting on Wednesday to deliberate on happenings in Guinea.